hi everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by in this video we'll be making this romper jumpsuit that you can see on the screen so it's a seamless romper jumpsuit meaning there is no joining on the waist area um so i already have my pattern paper and i'm going to start taking my points the first point i took is the distance from my shoulder to my chest line which is eight inches the next point is the distance from my shoulder to my waist which is 16 inches the next point is the distance from my shoulder to my hip which is 24 inches the next point i'm going to take is my crotch point so a video is going to be showing on the screen on how to take your crotch point after doing that you're going to divide whatever you have into two and you're going to place it from your waistline so i'm going to place my tape um above my body button button sorry and i'm going to take it to the back after taking my crotch measurement what i add was um 22 inches so i went ahead to add two extra inches to it so this is a one part jumpsuit so you need a little bit of space inside to be able to wear it well so whatever you have make sure you add two or three inches to it depending on how big you are after doing that um the next point i'll take is the length of this romper um jacket i'm still going to take the length from the waistline so everything that i have here is 36 or 38 inches that is the length of my romper jumps to 36 inches so the next measurement i will take is half of my shoulder measurement which is 8 inches and on my chest line i'm going to take my bust circumference divided by 4 and on my waist line i'll take my waist circumference divided by four on my um hip line i'm going to take my hip measurement divided by four on the length of my romper jumpsuit i'm going to take the same measurement that i have on my hip line so i'll go ahead and measure what i have on my hip line and what i have is 10 inches i'll place the same measurement there please note that the length of this romper jumpsuit is my tie line and my fabric is a bit stretchy that is why i'm using the same measurement that i have on my hip line so if you're not using a stretchy fabric measure out your tile and place that same measurement there i'm doing this because my fabric is stretchy so it's still going to fit in so measure around your tile and place the measurements on the length of your romper jumpsuit after doing that i'll just go ahead and connect all the dots that i have on my chest line on my waistline on my hip line and on the length of my um jumpsuit i'm just going to connect the lines together just like you see me doing after doing that on my neckline i'm going to take my neck width sorry my neck depth i'll take three inches and for the width i'll take three inches i'm still going to adjust this later i'll just take three inches also and i'll use my ruler to connect like this so i'm going to go down by one inch from my um shoulder measurements i'll go down by one inch and then i'll slant into the neckline for my shoulder slope the next thing i'll do is to measure my shoulder what i have is eight inches i'm going to place the same eight inches on my chest line in order to cover out my arm or i'll connect the dot on the shoulder line and that of the chest line together because this is where my arm o is going to be sitting so i'll take um the middle points i'm going to mark the middle point of this straight line that i have here and i'll just use the middle points to connect my arm o using my ruler i'll go ahead and add my stitching allowance so i'll be using one inch because my fabric is a bit stretchy so it depends on the fabric you're working with if it's not stretchy you can do 1.5 inches or 2 inches i'll connect my line and connect my arm out to meet my stitching allowance um to create my crotch i'm going to go in from the center front by 1.5 inches and then i'll connect to meet the crotch line so if you don't understand what i'm saying just look at what i'm I'm doing i went in by 1.5 inches and i'm connecting to meet the crotch line that i have so after doing that i'll go ahead and cut this out
the next thing i'll do is to adjust my neckline and my shoulder so i'm going to extend my neck depth because if you check the picture we are following the neck the neck is a little bit deep so i'll come down by six inches it totally depends on you and on the neck width i'll extend it by 1.5 inches i'm going to use my ruler to connect so if you want to do a v neck you can totally do that if you want to do a round neck it all depends on you i'll connect my lines like this and for the shoulder i'm going to go in from my neck depth sorry my neck width by 1.5 inches because that's how wide i want my shoulder to be and i'll connect from that point to meet my arm or and i'll go ahead and cut so we are done with drafting out this pattern this pattern is going to serve as both the front and the back pattern So I've gone ahead to use my pattern to cut out my fabric. So this, the part of the fabric that I'm using for the back is not stretchy at all because I was trying to manage my fabric. So I added zip allowance of one, one inch to the back and this is the front. I just cut the front out the way it is on the pattern paper. The only difference is that the back, I added zip allowance to it. So what I'll do next is to use my bias tape to um, pipe my neckline for both the front and the back so these are my two um back piece i also pipe the neckline for the back and then i'll add my zipper i'm not closing my crush line yet you can leave it open so i've gone ahead to do that i've added my zip i've piped my neckline for both the front and the back so i'm going to place my front piece and the back piece together After placing the front and the back on each other, what I'll do is to pin my crotch together and then I'll go ahead and sew the crotch together. I'll also use my stitching allowance, the one inch that I left, I'll use it to join the sides together. So I decided to add sleeves to mine last minute and... I just went ahead to cut out a basic sleeves in case you don't know how to um, cut out a basic sleeves i have a very detailed tutorial i'm going to link it in the comment section in case you don't know how to do it and yeah this is the outcome of my romper jumpsuit i hope you found this tutorial helpful please subscribe if you're not a subscriber and i'll see you in the next 